So let's turn to organometallics now. Uh, one of my favorite uh, articles that you've ever written in the journal was in 2011 with your, with your mentor. Uh, and you were bold enough to make predictions five years ago. So have you gone back and looked at those predictions and maybe which ones are you uh, the most proud of and maybe which ones would you want to uh, revise if you had a chance to, to go back and rewrite this article? Yeah, that's really a very, th this was an interesting experience to write this kind of article and I'm very glad that we did it. I am too. I, I think we don't do this enough in science, <laughs> enough. so I, I uh, applaud your, your courage to do this, uh, to put this in, in writing. Yeah. Yeah. When we have wrote this articles, uh, article, we were very much impressed with um, new fields of chemistry which uh, grow very rapidly. And, uh, like nanoscience, also many fields related with biochemistry, with material science. And, and they have grown so rapidly with a number of publications, like a huge number of publications in each of the fields. And they, they moved very, they, they have started from organometallic, they may start from organometallic chemistry, move to catalysis, and then to go to applications, like a fine organic synthesis of making drugs and biologically active molecules, making m new materials. It, it, this uses catalytic procedures that are based on transition metal complexes and finally based on organometallic complexes. Mm -hmm. But on that time, we have seen so many different applications that these applications may, may have even, uh, may, can make an impression that the applications are more important than the science itself. And it uh, inspired us to write this article. So we, we predicted that the organometallic chemistry will remain the core, the fundamental core of catalysis and of the science. And after this, uh, like, uh, very important and uh, new trends, they will develop. And at some point, they will be back again to okay. organometallic chemistry. And the molecules uh, of uh, complexes of transition metals will be reinvestigated again with the new research tools that we have. So this was a main prediction in our, com and in our article that um, despite all the new things and very fascinating and we also have a new projects and we like them, despite all of these things, it will come back to organometallic chemistry again at some point. And I'm, I'm almost sure that in, in nearest years we will observe this turn. Right. Well, I think it fits very nicely with what you've said about fundamental interests in chemistry in Russia and also in your own research, how you've... The you know, you've used these tools to try and watch reactions and how compounds decompose, how compounds stay, uh, you know, functioning as catalysts. I think this is great. So keep organometallics in a good shape. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep publishing in organometallics and we'll be in great shape. <laughs> so, so let's keep on the theme of the journal then. So, so what is the perception of ACS journals in, in Russia? You said that organometallics is your favorite journal. I appreciate that. Um, and what types of things uh, and content specifically do you think is important for the journals to grow, uh, not only in Russia, but, mm -hmm. but worldwide? Uh, this is very important to me as an editor and very important to the society that we're a global society. So if you could comment on some of these topics. ACS journals one of, are one of the primary, primary sources of um, really high impact and up-to-date information in chemistry. And uh, I read ACS journals every day. Every day I, I come to my office, I usually start by looking out on what new articles have appeared. And of course I, I'm looking at the ACS website and excellent journals that are published by ACS. And I also think that ACS is very innovative. There are several things that have been first implemented or advertised by ACS journals and then they become like an international standard. For example, unlimited free color in the publications. Mm. I think it was first made in the ACS journals and now it's so common for us. And also very rapid uh, processing of manuscripts. It's very fast. Uh, once my student came to me and he was really very happy. He was almost dancing. <laughs> he, said, he told me, Professor, you know that we have submitted our proofs corrections yesterday and today our article is already online. This is unbelievable to publish article in one day. That's really unbelievable. But uh, most important, I think, that, uh, that SAS journal, journals try to maintain a high quality and fair peer review. Mm. As a scientist, we trust to peer review, we believe in to peer review, and this is one of the most important points. And I think this is one of the strongest advantages that SAS journals have. have. So thank you. Uh, thank you for those compliments, and thank you for peer reviewing so, for us. I think that's a very important part of what we do.